So I'm just recording this after Nigel Farage, Reform UK, been exposed by Channel 4 News. They went undercover. Some liberal journalist has went undercover to try and expose them. And what I've noticed is it's really quite a stretch, right? They couldn't, they didn't find a candidate. They didn't find someone Nigel Farage is close to or someone in his inner circle or someone he's, you know, praised before. As, yeah, you should vote for this guy. He's one of my best candidates. No, no. It was a canvasser. It was a guy handing out leaflets. That's who's had these extreme racist views. And sure, he said maybe things that could be seen as bad, you know. Uh, he said you should get the new army recruits that deal shooting, uh, shooting the migrants coming in the boats. He said that Islam's a cult, although I don't really see much contesting, contesting with that. Um, he, he said that they're, they're sick people, they just want to take over and all this stuff. So sure, you could say some insulting language, but the fact that it's a leaflet, that's all, that's all they could find. They couldn't find a candidate, they couldn't find anyone else. They had to find a leafleter, someone who doesn't even represent the party. Some random guy who's just trying to do a bit of help because he likes the party a bit. That's, that's literally all they could find. But I wanted to take this into a different sort of... I wanted to look at this from a different sort of angle. I was thinking the fact that if there is these extreme people in these different parties, this isn't just a right-wing thing. This is with everything. This is with the left wing, with the right wing, with the non-governmental organizations, the, uh, the, the big banks, the lobbyists, the corporation owners. Trust me, all of them in behind closed doors speak like this. I guarantee you. See the Green Party? If you went undercover, which you wouldn't have to because it's pretty easy to look like they're friends if you're one of the mainstream media journalists because they all look like liberals. So the Green Party would probably have nothing suspect. And to be, to be honest, most of these journalists probably agree with half the things the Green Party say, so they could just have a nice old conversation. They're probably friends with them already. Uh, if you ask them their genuine opinions and you, you really heard the honest truth of what they believe, because they sit there, they try and fail to sound reasonable on these, uh, you know, debates, election debate, and all this stuff. They try to sound reasonable on things like LGBT and immigration. They really try their best. They can't quite, but they try. But if, if you found out their true beliefs, I bet half of them believe that, uh, I bet half of them genuinely don't like white people and want to see them erased. I bet they do. Uh, I bet, I bet they want to flood the country, you know? And the same with the LGBT, they might try to sound reasonable, but I, I think if you genuinely got their true and honest opinions on the LGBT, they'd probably be all for grooming children to the transgender ideology. They'd be all for teaching primary school age children about uh, homosexual sexual relationships. I bet they'd be all for it. I bet they're all, all on that drag queen stuff for the kids. All for it. I bet they're all for the kids reading inappropriate books at school that teach them about these, you know, totally messed up stuff. There's extreme people on both sides. We've seen the conversations about COVID with uh, the WhatsApp messages. I think it was Matt Hancock. He was like, "Yeah, he's basically talking about how funny it'd be to scare the whole, to scare the public, scare, scare the 67 million people in the country, scare all of them, get them to get the vaccine, scare the pants out of them, or whatever he was saying." Uh, these people exist, so I bet if we looked, I feel like this almost sort of proves my conspiracy theories, right? Because the second you go undercover with one reform fan. Turns out he's this racist or whatever. So what if we went undercover and tried to become friends with people like Bill Gates of the Big Pharma or the World Health Organization or the World Economic Forum or the big corporations with BlackRock? I bet you would hear conversations of them talking about pushing LGBT to children. I bet you would hear their conversations where they're talking about depopulating the planet and feeding us all this information that destroys the West and destroys, you know, America and Europe and all these places. I bet you'd hear the conversations. We already seen it with the WhatsApp messages, as I said. These people, in private, when they think they're not being watched, they talk about us in the most horrible ways you can imagine. At least with Reform, the people they're talking bad against, even if they are, you know, hateful, whatever, the people they're talking bad about, bad, uh, bad about aren't even British people. And you're running for the British election, so who actually cares? Who cares? I don't, I don't really, I actually don't care. What, oh, hello viewers, What's your opinion on uh, Peruvians? I actually don't care what your opinion on Peru because I mean, there's, I mean, we're in Britain, or we're in America, so why the hell does your opinion on Peruvians matter, or Ecuadorians, or uh, people from Bhutan? Who who actually cares? Because you're running for British elections, so the only the only thing you should be interested in is things that actually affect us and our people. So I don't really see the issue with it anyway. Sure, maybe they have a little bit of negativity in their body and they're 
spiritually, not that whatever nonsense you want to come up with. But it's like, does it actually matter? Well, no, not really. But I just believe this sort of proves a lot of what we're saying. There are people that are extreme on every single side. So these people in the NGOs, I bet during COVID they were all talking about, yeah, let's let's get everyone to get the vaccine. We don't we don't care what effects it has on people. We just get to cash in. I bet you could. I bet the big Pfizer executives were all talking about that. So I bet everyone that's the non-governmental organisations pushing mass immigration to the West and funding the mass immigration. I bet they're sitting there laughing. Every single time there's an attack, a bombing in the country, another grooming gang exposed, they're probably sitting there laughing about it. They, they, they love it. I bet they love every second of it. So, yeah, that's what I sort of feel this, this kind of exposes, it exposes the truth of politics as a whole. Not just, not just the right wing, it exposes everyone, essentially. If you look one little bit deeper, you can understand that.